For what purposes does the gentleman from Arkansas seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 1240, the Winnebago Land Transfer Act of 2023, as amended. The clerk will report the title of the bill. Union calendar number 302, H.R. 1240. A bill to transfer administrative jurisdiction of certain federal lands from the Army Corps of Engineers to the Bureau of Indian Affairs to take such lands into trust for the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, and the gentlewoman from Michigan, Mrs. Dingle, will each control 20 minutes. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Arkansas. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and to include extraneous material on H.R. 1240, the bill now under consideration. Without objection. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, H.R. 1240, the Winnebago Land Transfer Act of 2023, would place approximately 1,600 acres of land into trust for the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska. The Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska is one of the federally recognized tribes of the Ho-Chunk people. Their reservation encompasses approximately 117,000 acres of land located in Thurston and Dixon counties in Nebraska and Woodbury County in Iowa. The treaties of 1865 and 1874 between the tribe and the U.S. government established the land that is now known as the Winnebago Tribes Reservation. In 1970, the Corps of Engineers condemned tracts of land on the eastern boundary of the Winnebago Reservation in Nebraska and Iowa through eminent domain for the use of the Snyder Winnebago Oxbow Lake Recreation Complex project. The tribe challenged this taking in federal court. In Nebraska, the district court ruled in favor of the tribe and the parcels uh, in the state were returned. That was not the case in Iowa. A failure to properly preserve a right of appeal meant that the Eighth Circuit could not return the land to the tribe through a court order, even though they won their case. The land would have to be returned to the tribe through an act of Congress. H.R. 1240 would right the wrong that occurred in 1970 by returning the land and placing it into trust. An additional 60-acre tract that was condemned by the Army Corps of Engineers would also be placed into trust as it would be landlocked by the main parcels being placed into trust. The land is currently woodland and marsh and has recreational hunting and fishing values. The tribe testified they intend to manage the land under the Winnebago Wildlife and Parks Department and plan to make few, if any, changes to the conservation measures currently in place. Under this legislation, the land would be ineligible for gaming under the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act. I want to thank the gentleman from Iowa, Mr. Feenstra, for his work on this bill and encourage adoption of the legislation. I reserve the balance of my time. The reserves. The, uh, the chair recognizes the gentle, gentlewoman from Michigan. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of H.R. 1240, the Winnebago Land Transfer Act of 2023, introduced by my colleague from Iowa, Representative Feenstra. This bill would return two tracts of land acquired through eminent domain by the Army Corps of Engineers back into the trust for the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska. In 1865, the Winnebago Tribe and the United States signed a treaty promising the tribe their, their reservation in Nebraska along the Missouri River for the cession of their Dakota lands. The United States violated this treaty in the 1970s when the U.S. Corps of Engineers acquired land from the Reservation for Flood Control by invoking eminent domain without congressional approval or approval of the Secretary of the Interior. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit has since held that the Army Corps of Engineers lacked the authority to exercise eminent domain over trust lands. Despite the court's decision, the land has never been returned to the tribe and remains in possession of the Army Corps of Engineers. H.R. 1240 seeks to rectify this wrong by returning and reintegrating the land into the Winnebago Tribes Reservation. I urge my colleagues to right this wrong and vote yes, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield five minutes to the bill's sponsor, the gentleman from Iowa, Mr. Feenstra. The gentleman from Iowa is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank Chairman Westerman for bringing this important bill to the floor. 
The Winnebago Reservation was established by two treaties in 1865 and 1874 and has been the home to the Winnebago tribe ever since. In 1975, more than 100 years later, the Army Corps of Engineers took two small pieces of land within the Missouri River away from the Winnebago tribe. Since then, the federal government has ignored the land and has not made any plans to develop it. The bill would make this, these things right by returning the land that it was taken by the Army Corps of Enge Engineers and give it back to the Winnebago tribe. During this process, I have gotten to know many of the people of the Winnebago tribe. I have learned about their great work and the things they do in agriculture, business, and community devel development. It's wonderful to see that several of them in our gallery today. Thank you so much for coming. This is so important to them and, and for our land. From my conversations with them, the Winnebago tribe plans to use this land for conservation that will be open to the public, and I'm excited to see their plans and how they will improve this land. I am proud to lead this effort in the House, and I encourage my colleagues to support this important bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me time, and I yield back. Mr. Speaker, I have no further requests for time. I'm prepared to close, and I continue to reserve. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Michigan is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have no further requests for time, so I urge my colleagues to support this legislation, strongly urge them, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, as has been stated, the Winnebago tribe has been working for more than 50 years to have these approximately 1,600 acres restored to the reservation. I'm hopeful that in this Congress, we can finally get it done. I again want to thank Congressman Feenster and the Winnebago tribe of Nebraska for their hard work in this legislation. I urge adoption of the bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 1240? As amended, those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the, in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.